uh, buying opportunities at the moment? What what excites you? What states? What cities? Any little pockets that you're interested in? Any I don't know, I guess new transport or infrastructure things that have popped up that, that you're liking? Yeah, one trend I'm definitely you know working on with a few clients is commercial property. Um, commercial property, in particular a few medical assets have been great pickups for some of my recent customers. Now if you think of the aging population, you know, some of the health concerns that can come up with that sort of aging population, there's no wonder that these types of assets are a no-brainer. At the same time, you've got a lot of non-discretionary spend where basically these patients aren't paying for everything out of their pocket. And so it's more likely for the business owners to be more successful with these type of things happening. Now, that's picked up a lot of you know assets in that space where we've had above 7% net yields, long leases of up to you know six to nine years, including options. Yeah. And so suddenly for an investor, that's like, wait, I'm getting a significant cash flow return, a stable lease, and there's an opportunity for growth because of the desire in this asset. So that's definitely one, one trend. Yep. As for residential property, there are definitely some markets across, you know, Adelaide, Brisbane, uh, other other locations in Tasmania in terms of the northern parts, you know, Launceston, Devonport, Burnie, that have had some great numbers, yep. as well as regional locations. I think that's one area that a lot of people are discounting, but when you take away regional and capital sort of tagline and you just say a bigger city and smaller city yeah. and you look at the same you know drivers they exist and and that's why price growth is not to be under underestimated in regional locations as well yeah sure you don't have one area of specialty you kind of go all over the country don't you so interstate are there are a couple of main areas that you actually deal with yeah so one thing i really wanted to do was replicate i guess the success that i've had in my own portfolio people who have had in their portfolio for those who have mentored me or those who I'm inspired by. And there was two things I really realized. One was diversification and you can get that within the same asset class. Mm -hmm. So example, buying across the country is a big part of that diversification where someone's told me, hey Arjun, um, well, places in Sydney, the, the property values have come down. What are you doing in, in this sort of space? What about your portfolio? Well, I've got one in Sydney, commercial in Melbourne, you know, three in Brisbane, four in Tasmania, a couple here, like yeah. it, the, the one impact doesn't impact me. Yep. So from this component of A, cash flow, B, those same drivers and C, diversification, mm -hmm. I was able to then go, that's where I want to be for my customers. Yeah. Buy across the country, so they're never in a moment where one thing hits you and you're all out. Yep. Um, but at the same time, you can capture different results whilst people are holding back. Yeah, sure.